info at economicshowmerkelper.com or reach us at https colon slash slash www.economicshomeworkhelper.com Problems 1. Consider the end times repeated game with the following stage game. A. Find a lower bound pi for the average payoff of each player in all pure strategy Nash equilibria. Prove indeed that the payoff of a player is at least pi n in every pure strategy Nash equilibrium. Your grade will be 10 pi. B. Construct a pure strategy subgame perfect Nash equilibrium in which the payoff of each player is at most each player is at most n plus 1. Verify that the strategy profile is indeed a plus 1. Verify that the strategy profile is indeed a subgame subgame perfect perfect Nash equilibrium. 2. Consider the infinitely repeated game with discount factor 0, 1 and the stage game. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com for each of the strategy profile below, find the range of under which the strategy profile is a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. A. The play is if I L R if I L R has been played at all previous days, and X L L is played otherwise. B. On Sundays, i.e., at T0714, X L L is played, on other days, I L R is played if I L R has been played at all previous such days and X L L is played otherwise. C. On Sundays, X L L is played, on other days, I R R is played if I R R has been played at all previous such days and X L L is played otherwise. 3. Consider the infinitely repeated prisoner's dilemma game with discount factor and equals 0, 0,999. The stage game is A. Find a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium in pure strategies under which the average payoff of each player is in between 1.1 and 1.2. Verify that your strategy profile is indeed a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com B. Find a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium in pure strategies under which the average payoff of player 1 is at least 57.Verify thought our strategic profile is indeed a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. C. Can you find a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium under which the average payoff of player 1 is Marithan 5.8? Recall problem 4 in homework 2. Consider the repeated game with the following stage game. A unit mass of kids are uniformly located on a street, denoted by the 01 interval. There are two ice cream parlors, namely 1 and 2, located at 0 and 1, respectively. Each ice cream parlor sets a price less than or equal to for its own ice cream, simultaneously, where simultaneously, where 0.1 a kid located in located in is to pay cost is to pay cost, minus, to go to, to go to a store located at, where, 0p3, given the prices 1 and 2, each kid buys one unit of ice cream from the store with the lowest total cost, which is the sum of the price and the cost, to go to the store. If the total cost is the same, she flips a coin to choose the store to buy. A. Assume that the above game is repeated 100 times, and find the subgame perfect Nash equilibria. B. Assume that the above game is repeated infinitely many times and the discount rate is 131. For each of the following strategy profile, find the highest under. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Which the strategy profile is a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. Here, may be a function of. You need to choose both and to make the strategy profile a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. 1. At the beginning each parlor I chooses pi equals p asterisk and continues to do so until some player sets a different price, each selects price pi equals p thereafter. 2. There are two states, collusion and war. The game starts at the state collusion. In collusion state, each player I chooses pi equals p, and in war state each player chooses pi equals p. If both players set the price prescribed for the state, then the state in the next round is collusion, the state in the next round is war otherwise. 1. Two bonus, in part, 2. Assume that p greater than or equal to 0, but war can last multiple periods. 
State such a strategy profile formally and answer the above question for such a strategy profile. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Problem 1 A. The lower bound is 1. If n is even, let x be, c, c, b, b, where s, c, c, is played for n slash 2 periods and b, b, is played for n slash 2 periods. For n odd, x equals c, c, b, b, a, a, where s, c, c, is played for n minus 1 slash 2 periods, b, b, is played for n minus 1 slash 2 periods. The Nash equilibrium strategy is to play x as long as x has been played in every previous period, and otherwise play a c, c, for the rest of the game. This is a Nash equilibrium because there is no possible deviation for either player. If a player deviates, he will get payoff at most 1 in every future period, so the best he can get by deviating is payoff n, which he is indifferent to. Solutions b, for n even, x n equals c, c, b, b, a, a, where s, c, c, is played for n slash 2 periods, b, b, is played for n slash 2 minus 1 periods. If n is odd, let x b, c, c, b, b, where s, c, c, is played for n minus 1 slash 2 periods and b, b, is played for n plus 1 slash 2 periods. For n equals 1, the strategy is to play b, b, for payoff 2. We prove by induction. Suppose that for n less than t, there is a subgame perfect equilibrium with payoff n plus 1. At n equals t, the subgame perfect equilibrium is to play x t as long as everyone has played on the equilibrium path. If a player deviates from playing s c c c at some period with t rounds remaining, we play x t as punishment. If a player deviates from playing b, b, or a, a, we continue on xt. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com A player that deviates with t rounds remaining gets payoff 1 in that round, and then plays the xt subgame perfect equilibrium with payoff t plus 1, for a total of t plus 2. This will never exceed t plus 1, so on his stories in the equilibrium path there are no profitable deviations. There are no deviations after histories when we are on xt because they are subgame perfect equilibria by the inductive hypothesis. Problem 2 A. This is never SPE. Player 2 has payoff 0 in equilibrium, so he can always deviate to R for payoff 1. B. This is also never SPE for the same reason. C. This is always a SPE. In every period, Players are playing a stage game Nash equilibrium, so the strategy is subgame perfect equilibrium. Problem 3, A, suppose for each cycle, C a C, is played a times and D a D, is played B 5 A plus times. Then average payoff for the cycle is 5 A plus B. To make 1.11.2, we a plus B a plus B need 19 a less than B 39 A. Let's choose A equals 1, B equals 20. The strategy profile is for each player, play d for t equals 21k plus i, for i equals 1, 2, 20 and play c for t equals 21k if no deviation has occurred. If any deviation has occurred, play d forever. No player has incentive to deviate when some player has deviated since d a d is any of the stage game. When a player is supposed to play d at t equals 21k plus i, to prevent deviation we need. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Note that the right side of inequality is minimized at i equals 1, so we only need to check that case. For delta equals 0 0.999, it holds. When a player is supposed to play C, to prevent deviation we need for delta equals 0 0.999, it holds. B. The strategy profile is that player 1 plays d for t equals 4k plus i, for i equals 0, 1, 2 and plays c for t equals 4k plus 3 and player 2 plays c for all t if no deviation has occurred. If any deviation has occurred, play d forever. When dsc is supposed to be played, player 1 has no incentive to deviate as he gets